It was a crazy night, but the child with diabetes ketoacidosis slept well. Her last blood glucose reading was 8.1 millimoles per liter and she got her 0200 insulin as scheduled. She is demanding to breastfeed her 4-year-old. I told her she can't because we were monitoring her blood sugars. Also the mother and the grandma just got into an argument about child care. Sorry, I did not talk to them about their concerns, I was just too busy. I am anxious about Emily because she is my first child, I have read in multiple magazines the importance of breastfeeding and feel very strongly that Emily should continue to breastfeed. I am upset because the night nurse was judgmental and abrasive. I am not able to breastfeed Emily because the nurses disagree with my viewpoint. The relationship with my mother-in-law has always been strained and she continuously tells me how to care for Emily. I am tired and run down from my stressful job and I am very concerned about how to care for my child with diabetes and how to avoid diabetes ketoacidosis moving forward. Emily is partially my responsibility because she is my first grandchild and I look after her three days a week. I find it strange that Emily's mother continues to breastfeed her because breastfeeding is for babies. If Emily's mother focuses on information that is not relevant, then she is not providing proper nutrition for Emily for her age. Mommy I am hungry, I want cookies and milk. Tell me more about how you are feeling now. I know what is best for my daughter. I do not agree with my grandma and the previous night nurse about breastfeeding. Emily's blood sugar is high. I will give two units of insulin. Breastfeeding is good, but you have to start weaning your child. Why are you not breastfeeding Emily? <laughs>